Today is Beaches Day. We are actually running a scooter and, or maybe a motorcycle, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Um, Scott has his motorcycle license. He's very skilled, no worries there. And I just had the most amazing breakfast and too much of it, oh my gosh. I don't know who I thought I was eating for, but I don't feel like I'm gonna wanna eat for the rest of the day, but you know what, I probably will. <laughs> All the beaches in Greece are public, which is fantastic because if you don't want to spend money to rent a sunbed or stay at an expensive resort, just grab a towel, pull up a piece of sand anywhere you find and you can enjoy an absolutely beautiful beach day. What I loved is that every single beach had its own personality. The sand was different, the water was different, and I have no idea how one island had so many different types of beaches, but we loved everywhere that we went and there were many that we still have to explore. Our view for lunch is, uh, this will do. <laughs> this place is called On the Rocks. Definitely winning for atmosphere and good playlist. And again, the view. Okay, we've now come to Monastery Beach, which is very famous. There's a lighthouse here and some other cool stuff. You can always tell when there's cool stuff because you've got these markers from the Greece government that tell you but also you've got very hip beach club over here you can again rent the chairs you can get yourself a nice cocktail and enjoy the ocean so let me show you this instead of me because this is actually more attractive so my phone is gonna die pretty soon. And remember before when I said I dumped the water into the beach bag, it ruined my external battery. So whatever, this may be the last video you get from us today, but- Or forever. <laughs> Hopefully not forever. We are, we came pretty far and here we go. There's what we're looking at. And we're still not to the lighthouse. It's just on the other side of this hill, which seems like I'm lying. No, it's just over there. <laughs> Uh, this is cool. He's got so much wind, he doesn't need his main sail. Is he coming to pick us up? <laughs> He's gonna just park right here. And what does that say? Lighthouse. It first opened in 1887. It says, get off my lawn. No, it doesn't. even like never to be duplicated type of day. It exceeded my every expectation of kind of what being here would be like, what we would be able to do. It's um, a little bit breezy tonight. We're headed into dinner. It's like seven o'clock and we're going to go back into Nosa. Not sure where we're going to eat, but like there's so many great restaurants. So we're going to have some yummy food and we'll catch you over there. Gorgeous. I'm hoping to get some more footage over there at night. I haven't really gotten um, much of that, but it's kind of Okay, this is just walking in. See how well lit everything is? 
It's like lit up like it's the middle of the day. Like Vegas, but way better. Would you please tell them what you just ordered at this lovely seaside establishment that has the sushi and beautiful sea bass and all these, yeah. I, I ordered a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. And we think the chef himself came and took our order and got the cheeseburger. So it's not all fancy around here is what I'm saying. I, however, went with the Japanese restaurant and, uh, or menu, and the restaurant's called Carino. This poor dog does not like motorcycles. He keeps barking at the motorcycles that go by. So here's where we are. We're right along the water here, and it's just beautiful. So pretty. Okay, excellent meal. Yes. We think they might have forgiven him. No. Did he get pissed off eating the French fries? I told him you have to finish your food here, but the sushi was amazing, and he's right. We are looking at the boats where the sushi was caught. So you know <laughs> what? Yeah, this the sushi. <laughs> the rolls. They they fish for the rolls. They come out just like that. <laughs> the sushi grade fish there you was go. caught. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, um, really good meal. I'll put the name of the place where we are right down here because this was excellent. Not, I haven't gotten the bill yet, but I don't think it was terribly expensive either. Yeah, so we're happy. The man got a cheeseburger, so yay. <laughs> we might have done some shopping. <laughs> Scotty, did you do some shopping? I didn't do it. Well, no, no, I bought some cookies. Um, this is my new, it matches my evil eye bracelet. Um, chocolate cookies. <laughs> It's got got chocolate cookies. And I got a 14 karat gold necklace. But the woman who sold it to me was really nice and we're best friends now. And um, it's really pretty. Did we go the wrong way? Okay, so we went the wrong way. And I can wear it all the time. So there you go. And I might start wearing this more often than my Tiffany necklace that you bought me. Oh. This might be my new one I wear all the time. So there you go. So we've just come back to the resort and what's the date? September 28th, 29th? There's the full moon. I'm sure it's not going to read. It's one of those things that's impossible to get, but this is our last full moon of 2023. One of the servers told us. So last one feels significant. I don't know, maybe not, but maybe because I, bought my beautiful new necklace and made new friends and feel very connected to this place and I'm staying at this gorgeous resort. It's just a whole thing. So I hope wherever you were when this full moon came across that it's a positive thing for you. I always feel that full moons are all about fresh starts and new beginnings and if you need one of those then me and the full moon are giving you official permission for all of the things. So um, we are waiting for Michael to come and get us and he's running just a little bit late. So I'm gonna come lay by the pool for a minute. But um, one of the really big things that we've enjoyed recently is, I don't know why my hat is, it's got this wire thing in it. But anyway, is doing, um, private tours that are recommended by the hotel. It's what we're doing. Well, today, Michael was recommended by a friend and he's our friend now. And then in Athens, we're doing a private tour recommended by the hotel. You, of course, can book them through Travelocity's new product that does that, lots of different ways. We just find that the hotel has a little more vested interest in um, who they use. We find that it's a, usually a little bit better value for money and that's just what we do. So you can always email the hotels in advance and ask for recommendations. That's how I've gotten our arrangements from the uh, port, from the airport, all of the things. And they really do know what they're doing. So trust the hotels. So we came back to Lefkis with Michael because when we were here the other day, it was so rainy and gray and we just felt like today is a lot prettier and we were right. It is, it's gorgeous. 
just gorgeous. And my cute husband. So we have found our, our villa. It's it's a bit of a fixer-upper, you know. I mean, it was built quite a long time ago. Um, but Scott seems to think it's redeemable. We could, uh, we could make it our own. I thought that you couldn't buy property here unless you uh, were a Greek citizen, but it turns out you can. So, yeah, you never this, know. This is fine. This will work for you? Yeah. It just, uh, the refurbishment might take a minute. We could, we're up to the task. Yeah? Perfect. <laughs> I've come to the trailhead for the Byzantine uh, route, which is, we had kind of hoped to come down here. We're not gonna be able to do the whole thing, but we are gonna do just a little bit of walking. Now this is an ancient roadway and I'll insert voiceover now of me sounding more intelligent about it because I'll go look stuff up. <laughs> the Byzantine Road is the oldest trail on Paros and it connects Leftis to Promdramas. I think I might be pronouncing that wrong, but it dates to 1000 AD and it's about three and a half kilometers long. It'll take you about 45 minutes from beginning to end. We really do hope to do this next time. It's just so beautiful and unique and what an amazing part of history. We told um, Michael that we had hiked up to the lighthouse yesterday, and he said that most tourists don't do that because it's too dangerous. <laughs> like, mm -hmm, I can see that. I'm still glad we did it, but you know, be careful. in here. Um, that light is very yellow and it's very um, kind of freaky and very quiet and very cool. Scotty, mm -hmm. do you like the cave? Yeah. Cave. I said to Michael, I said, Michael, tell me about this cave we're visiting. And he said, it's a cave. <laughs> which was a very Greek response. And uh, we got in here and Scott said, Michael's right. It's a cave, <laughs> but it's very cool. And it was, um, what was the period? Neolithic period. It was used as a shelter. So it's 450 steps uh, down to the bottom and then 450 steps to come back out to the top. Look at this. Crazy. Okay, we just had an amazing lunch, and I just have to point out that you can see the Temple of Apollo right over here. Yes. <laughs> so we are here at the ferry port, and our boat is not here yet. There's been a delay, but you can kind of see over there, and it's very easy. Uh, let me show you what I'm looking at. So yeah, this is the Peros port and Michael just brought us right here and then there's these gates and it's written outside the gate, um, which ferry is yours. And so yeah, we're just hanging out. Now, if you wanted to, 
you could go over there and get coffee or whatever. But also, um, the sea jets, you don't really want to take unless you absolutely have to. I would honestly rather fly than take the sea jets. Everyone's told me that they're very, very bumpy and you can't be outside at all. But the other ones that we're taking, the Blue Star Ferries, you can sit outside and we've reserved an actual seat and there's Scott LaForge dutifully waiting with our bags. Okay, so here's why I was stressed about that. First of all, I'm doing something I've never done before, which is taking the ferry, which was stressful because I'm just like that. Number two, for some reason, when I checked in online, because you have to check in online 48 hours up to two hours before if you bo booked in advance. You could also have booked it when you got here. And then we couldn't figure out which lounges there were. It was very clear on the ticket. It's just when you're looking at a ticket you've never looked at before. So we were in lounge two, seats 451 and 452. Now, you could have paid 50 euro and it's open deck and then you can sit anywhere or you can pay 55 euro and then you have a reserved seat which is what we did so scott went to go explore it's a four deck ship um it's a four hour journey ish four and a half um it was a lot but i did it and now if we take the ferry again easy breezy totally know what i'm doing the luggage situation was a little harrowing too so then i understood what people wanted to be on first because the luggage is just thrown everywhere Thank you so much for coming along with us today. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss the next update when we are headed to Athens. We are visiting the Acropolis. We are touring all around this beautiful city. And honestly, you guys, I can't wait to show you this next part of this amazing Greek adventure. Thanks for watching and whatever you're doing, I hope you're being really good to each other. 